worker in Portland. And the one point of contact system that the city has in place for people to report problems. Yeah, some people say that it doesn't really work very well. Yeah. Some business owners near Southeast 10th and Washington streets are frustrated by what they see as the city's lack of response to some camps popping up there. Our Tim Becker has the story. And this has just incrementally grown and grown. There's prostitution, there's rampant drug use. You've and seen that? Absolutely. Jim Walter tells me the tents and the tarps that hug his building along inner southeast Washington Street continue bringing unwanted elements. I see cars pull up here and there's a lot of drug dealing going on. Both he and his tenant, yeah, Ann Liggett. Our biggest concern is our employees' safety. Feel unheard, telling me they've reported the camp weekly for months to the city's one point of contact system. They just text back and say that we're dealing with the Springwater Corridor. Meantime, Walter's been dealing with cleanup of his own here here every weekend, snapping photos of human waste and needles that he's forced to remove to protect his investment. A check of the city's website shows 24 reports were filed about the camp last week and a total of 46 the first three weeks in October alone. So why is all this still here? When I asked that question of the mayor's office today, I received this response saying it's been posted and cleaned multiple times over the past six months. Hmm. True? Uh, once in June, maybe. Okay. That's all I know. Walter says the campers came back within days and are now further entrenched, some tents even on raised wooden floors. I put in $4,000 worth of lighting down the side of the building to try and discourage it, but nothing seems to work that I can do legally. Which is why he contacted us and why we then contacted the city. This afternoon, they tell us this area is now about to return to a regular cleanup rotation with notice to probably be posted as soon as next week. In Southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.